Hey everybody, this is Sean Mullen with CreativeCow.net. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily do the RGB split effect that we see used everywhere. It's a cool way to stylize your footage or even spice up a transition. There are some really great plugins that will automate this effect for you, but what if you don't have those plugins on your machine, or your boss says your plugins haven't arrived yet, or you just don't want to buy them? No problem, I'm going to show you how to achieve this effect with the native tools inside of After Effects. Alright, I've got a composition here with our clip already in the timeline. So I'll select the clip and go to Effect, Expression Controls, Slider Controls. With the clip highlighted in the timeline, hit P for Position and Alt-click the Position Stopwatch to open up the expressions. Type Wiggle Parentheses 5, comma, and then Pick Whip to the Slider Control. Now don't forget to add the parentheses to finish out the expression. Okay, we'll open up the slider properties move down one frame here by hitting page down so our animation starts at the three second mark and click on the stopwatch to make your first keyframe. Hit page down again to move one frame down the timeline and change the slider value to 50. Now I'll go to four seconds and make my final keyframe and set it back to zero. Let's mark our in and out points here and hit preview and see what we've got. Cool, we've got a pretty cool bouncing frame here. Now it's time to shift the channels. Go to Effect, Channel, Shift Channels. Turn Take Green From and Take Blue From to full off, leaving just the red channel active. To keep things organized here, I'm going to label this layer red. Now I'll duplicate this layer and call it green and duplicate it one more time and call it blue. Now go to our green layer, double click on shift channels and take red from to full off and take green from green. Now do the same for blue. Double click on the shift channels effect, turn take red from to full off and take blue from blue. Now we highlight all of our layers and change the transfer mode to add. It should look just like the original clip now. Let's hit spacebar and preview this real quick. Now we've got our logo with a wiggle expression running on individual color channels. But you'll notice something here on the sides. The frame lines are showing. So let's zoom in for a closer look here. We can't have this. This doesn't work for me. So let's zoom out click our red layer and go to Effect Stylize Motion Tile. Set the output width and height to 150 and click on Mirror Edges. I'll copy and paste this effect to all the other layers. Now you'll see we no longer have our frame line showing. roll this back and cool we've got an RGB split effect going on let's step it up a bit and use the same effect as a transition so let's grab a second clip here and bring it into After Effects and drag my first clip and make a new composition change the composition settings to 10 seconds Alright, now I'll zoom out my timeline and drag the second clip to about 4 seconds where I want my transition to happen. Now let's pre-comp these layers so our RGB effect will go on top of our cut. So now when I scrub through the timeline, you can see the cut happen at 4 seconds. Let's hit page up to go one frame back before our cut. 
Now go to your effect search window and type XYZ. This brings up the separate XYZ position effect. Let's drag that to our pre-comp. Now open up the effect and before we do anything with it, let's go ahead and add an expression slider. Go to effect, expression controls, slider control. Now in the XYZ effect, alt click the X position to open up the expressions window. And just like last time, type in wiggle parentheses 5 comma and pick whip the slider effect. Now as I scrub the slider back and forth, you'll see our pre-comp move back and forth only on the x-axis. Open up the slider effect and let's go a few frames. 15 or so before cut and make our first keyframe. Then at our cut point, set the slider to something pretty big. I'm going to do uh, 464. I'll jump down 10 frames and set the slider back to zero. And because I like my keyframes eased, I'll ease out my first keyframe and ease in my last. So now if we scrub through the timeline, you'll see a cool slide effect right over our cut. So we just repeat what we did last time. Go to Effect, Channels, Shift, Channels. Turn Take Green From and Take Blue From off, leaving just the red channel active. Label this layer red and duplicate it. Label this one green and duplicate it, and label the last one blue. On the Shift Channels effect for the green layer, turn red to full off and change Take Green From to green. On the shift channels effect for the blue layer, turn red to full off and change take blue from to blue. Highlight all the layers and select add or screen. I'll use screen this time. Now check it out, you can now have a trippy RGB separation over your cut. But just like last time, we can see our frame lines. When we zoom in, you can clearly see where the layers are moving over and revealing just one color. I don't want this. So let's click on the red layer, zoom back out, and go to Effect Stylize Motion Tile. In this particular case, we're only concerned with the output width because we're only animating or sliding on the x-axis, so there's really no reason to adjust the output height. And because we're sliding pretty far, let's set our width to something big like 400 or so and click on Mirror Edges. Now let's just copy this effect from the red layer to the green and the blue layers. And hit Preview and see what we've got. Cool, now we've got a custom RGB split transition created completely inside After Effects without the use of any third-party plugins. Well, that about does it for this tutorial. Once again, this is Sean Mullen for CreativeCow.net. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.